Your only competition is you. I know so many people, including myself, where I'll see someone on social media or if I even know someone like, oh, they got this many rentals. They're doing this many deals. You know, I want to do that. I want to be making, you know, this. I want to be doing that. But at the end of the day, you know, I have a realization of your only competition is you. You know, and that just doesn't come right away. You know, you, you got to put put the seeds in your mind. You have to watch, I, like I watch a lot of videos. I read a lot of books, podcasts, stuff like that. And, you know, reading the Bible, right? God gave us each specific gifts. Whatever comes to you that is easy, that is your gift from God because someone else can do that same old thing and it can be hard as heck for them, right? For me, like, my strengths come in like different ways. Like me and Skylar, um, Skylar has his weaknesses and I have my strength with, which helps his weaknesses. And then he has his strengths with help my weaknesses. So that's what creates a great business partnership when it comes to our business, our real estate business. And, you know, like for me, like posting <clears throat> like five days a week on YouTube, Someone else may say, oh my gosh, I don't know how you're doing that. That's so hard. I can't believe it. Like, what content do I even post? But like with me, I'm just like, all right, let's do it. Let me edit, upload, film, edit, upload, film, edit, upload. And I'm able to do it in a timely manner. Like it doesn't take me long. Like you just literally, I mean, that's just something minimal, but like there's so many other gifts. You got to find what God's gift is for you, what he has given you. And if you're sitting there watching this thinking, I don't know what God has given me. I don't know what my gift is. That's when you want to go into prayer. You want to fast. You want to ask God. You want to connect with him. Read your word. Read, read the word. Read the Bible to see what your gift is. Because God specifically put you on this earth and he has a gift for you. You know, we all have a purpose. We all have a purpose to serve, you know, God to spread the gospel, to spread the message throughout the world. But we all have different callings. Someone's calling could be to go help the homeless. Someone else's calling could be to go serve at the church. Someone else's calling could be to, I don't know, help help a basketball team. You know, just be a coach and minister on the basketball team. Whatever the case may be, we all have different callings. You know, my calling, if I'm being completely completely transparent is being that light and yes we all need to be that light but I, God wants me to be the light within the real estate industry I'm a female I'm black too <laughs> there's really not a lot of females that are black also within the real estate industry like I'm in a male dominant space but my purpose is to be the light that's what drives me every day to you know post to just share my journey, to document. Because people, you know, are asking me, like, how are you being able to make all this content? What drives me so much is my purpose. And I didn't realize this until the end of December. But I didn't also realize it until I fasted the end of December and I went into prayer. Prayer and fasting is huge. And if you ever have a question that you're unsure of, do it do it and God will definitely answer you. And I can't like, I'm talking about long fast too, you know, 24 hours. The longest I've done was 48 so far. So fit, prayer and fasting is amazing. But you got to realize we all have different callings. So if someone out there is getting more deals or making more money than you, God just called them to do something different. God has so much in store for you to do something else. You just have to get that in your mind. You know, your competition is you. If today you want to slack, you don't want to go to work, you don't want to do what you need to do, that's on you. And you're just, you're just getting behind. Like the goal is to get 1% better every day. With your competition being you, push harder, be disciplined, like push harder to achieve God's goal that he has for you, his will, his purpose, what he has for you. And 
what I would pray too is if you feel like you don't have that desire to do so, pray about it. Because I realized in the beginning of my career, when I started back in 2020, uh, my drive was so high of like, you know, making calls. Like literally the second day I got licensed, I made like 400 calls. I was just going in, I was going ham. But then 2023, that's when it just started going down. And in January of this year, that's when I was just praying, Lord, just give me that desire. Give me that desire that you have given me in the beginning of my, you know, the business and stuff to help me just pursue what you want me to do. And sure enough, he gave me that desire because now I'm posting all the time. Um, now I'm doing, you know, what he he's called me to do. Now I'm waking up at 4.35 in the morning, right? Before I would just sleep in till 7.30, 8 o'clock and not care but what gets me up what gets me excited is doing his will but just remember you're your only competition he has only made one of you you're one of a kind your only competition is you just focus on getting better each and every day and following what god has called you to do you have a gift if you don't know what your gift is pray about it seek god and he will tell you I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Go subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.